Here at the Dubai Air Show, Boeing launched the 777X, probably the most important new project that the company has launched in a decade after the 787. The aircraft itself, as you can see, is a stretched model of the 300ER. In this case, the 9X, which is the largest of the two members of the family, is the same length as the 747-8 at about 250 feet. Seating over 400 passengers, this aircraft will be able to fly in excess of 8,400 miles. The shorter version, the Dash 8X, will seat um, the same amount of passengers, slightly more in fact, than the current 777-300ER, and we'll be able to travel over enormous distances in excess of about 9,400 nautical miles. There are two amazingly important aspects to this design, two key factors which have made the difference uh, for an aircraft that will be able to fly these enormous lengths at the sort of uh, efficient cruising numbers that the airlines will want at that time. Principal changes that we're looking at is this large composite wing which measures 233 feet in span. It will be the largest composite wing ever built by Boeing. And second features of prime importance are the engines. These are the GE9X engines, all new engines from GE, which will uh, essentially be derived from the technology now in development for the GE-NX engines powering the 787 and the LEAP engines, which will be used to power the next generation 737 MAX family. With the wing, the primary element that we must look for here is how will a span of this size fit into the current gate areas of the airports of the world. For this, Boeing's come up with this intriguing idea of being able to fold up the outer 11 feet of each tip, thereby bringing it into the same span requirements as the current 777 family. Another feature of the aircraft which will be important to meeting the um, fuel burn reduction is the tail. As you can see, it's a slightly different shape to the current 777 and not visible on this model are important features built into the leading edge, the hybrid laminar flow concept, which is being used currently during flight tests of the 787-9, which will be featured on both aircraft in service. 